Yeah, if you, if you as a coach take that approach um, to increase the amount of choice your or say your athletes have and sort of how the team is structured, run, uh, how the team interacts, um, I guess there's a couple different benefits to it. You know, it's a lot of the coaching literature talks about, you know, the expectations that a coach holds of their athletes. That's actually going to ultimately direct, it's going to ultimately influence uh, the athlete's actual performance, um, which then becomes this sort of self-perpetuating cycle, right? Um, so if you think about it that way, if you're a coach and you're allowing your athletes to have a say in how, you know, what, what norms get established, how we structure things, how we communicate, you, in terms of giving them insights into your expectations, your expectations is that they're actively involved and engaged in the whole process, right, versus just being numbers or minions or, you know, just there to do the work. Um, so in terms of benefits, what happens is you get greater buy-in, right? So when you get greater buy-in, we know that effort increases, persistence increases, uh, inherent enjoyment and satisfaction increases. Um, performance also increases, which is an added bonus, right, because these other factors increase. Uh, and then in, on a more global scale, things like self-esteem, self-worth, self-initiative, those tend to also benefit positively from taking that approach of allowing your athletes, you know, more involvement.